Tonight, on Only in Canada, we meet a man with a passion for the history of this country. Well, actually, for one specific part of that history, grain elevators. They once stood proud right across the prairies, but that's changing. In town after town, grain elevators have already, or are now, disappearing, including the one in Mundare, Alberta. Briar Stewart has the story of one man determined to see they are not forgotten. Mundare is a small farming town along the Trans-Canada Highway. Once a major agricultural hub, the community boasted nine grain elevators, but on this day, it's losing its last. Kind of trying to memorialize it. And Jim Pearson came just to witness the demolition. Really depressed. It's just, it's just like, it's like losing a member of the family almost. Well, distant cousin or something like that. Pearson discovered his passion for grain elevators after one in his hometown burned to the ground in 2001. He set out on a mission to document and record the history of each grain elevator in Western Canada. But there's only 258 in the province. Down from? 1,759 in total, back in 1933. Each year he spends weeks on the road, eyes peeled. Elevator, where, where, where? Pearson's obsession with grain elevators is more than just a hobby. For him, the study of these prairie landmarks is a form of therapy. Well, I have Asperger's syndrome, which is a form of autism, and it does help. His research became an outlet for his energy. You no, know, it takes a real man to report these down by hand. And his friends say it has completely transformed him. He's become more outgoing. He used to kind of not chat a lot, and now he chats lots. It's like they rip it apart like it's toothpicks. In fact, he's never short of words or of a description. It's like watching dinosaurs ripping into a tree. And on this day, as folks from Mundare turned up to see their elevator come down. See if you went through Central Alberta. Some got a history lesson. This is the one from Dot. Then it was time for the moment everyone was here to capture. Whoa! Whoa! The rarer they sketch, you know, the more precious the remaining ones become. And so do all of those records detailing the disappearing prairie icon. Briar Stewart, CBC News, Mundare. Now, if you've got an idea for Only in Canada, we want to hear from you. Just go to our webpage, cbcnews.ca slash onlyincanada, to send us your ideas, photos, and videos.